Hi friends, in a Kinter window, we can present a list of options to the user by using a list box. So user can select one of the option or you can add a new option to it or you can delete a option also. So these events will trigger and accordingly will change the list. Even the options of the list also can be taken from a database. It can be taken from an Excel phase and whatever we have learned, we'll use that to populate the list, uh, list box or the populate the choices given to the users. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is our uh, Kinter window, blank Kinter window. We are imported uh, Kinter. Then our parent window is my underscore W. Then the width and the height of the window, we have set it here and written a title. And then we are keeping the window open. Let's save this and run and see our window. Here it is. To this window, we'll add a list box. So here, here LB1 or list box one equal to TK dot list box. So our parent window is my underscore W. We are declared it at line number two, then height. This is the gives us that how many number of rows the window will open. It is not dependent on the how many elements are there or the options we give. This is the total height of the list box. So in that we'll give that. That's all. Let's uh, add one by one option. Now let's place it on our grid. So LB1 dot grid. Now this is the first element in this window so row one now column first one i can give zero zero also it's relative value only so now i'm not flushing it with the left edge so i'm giving a pad x of 30 then pad y let's give 20 so i'm from the top edge i'm maintaining a gap of 20. now i will i'll add the elements to it because it will be a blank uh, list box only so lb1 dot insert first one first element now I am writing PHP. So I'll next one. Let me just copy this. Best I will add three, four. So I'm making. So for next one, second element I am giving here my SQL. Now the third one. Let me give Python. Whatever the options you want to give you can add it here by using insert we'll see different ways how to add it also taking a list or even we can take it from a database also so fine so this is one two three four are there now let's save this uh, run it once and see yeah you can see here in our window here are the all the options are available now let's uh, just increase the size of the font here so for that let me declare one font here so font one you can give it here is a list whatever the font first one is font family let me give Arial. then size let me slightly keep it bigger 15 size and it should be bold italic anything so i am giving normal so this is my <coughs> type then size style so this font i will write it here One more thing. Okay, now the font will increase. Let's just see this. You can see it has gone up. Let's change the background color a bit. BG or background. I am giving a color here. Let's just see this. Yeah, you can see here. Let's add two more options. One is uh, select uh, background because whenever we select it, what should be the background of that element? select background let me say light yellow let me run this and let's see now i can you can see here i am selecting but you see the font color foreground color or the font color is also changing white it's not visible so let's change the select foreground also so we'll say select foreground here i am making it black so that will be visible clearly now okay you can see now whatever I am selecting the foreground color background is light yellow and foreground is black. Now let's create one list and insert the element into our uh, list box. So here my list this is a list I am creating. Here I am now PHP let's put the element MySQL. Now one more will go 
<coughs> let's put python these elements dynamically should go dynamic means while the data loads i removed all the insert commands now what i will do for let's say element in my list means it will loop through one by one all the elements now here i am saying lb1 dot insert where at the end i will because one by one this will be looping so i am putting it at the end so next one will be the below that like that tk end now i'll say element so this list i can extend it also let's put html one more so four four elements let's run this you can see all the four elements are here i can same thing i can select it because already we have background different colors are used let's uh, see how i can print the element uh, in our console then we'll move how we'll print it uh, using a click event of a button and print it to a label all these things we'll see so any output we can generate print lb1 dot get get i have to give the index position starting from zero sorry i am giving the first element now let me just copy this print the first and the third element so 0 1 let me say 2 so remember 0 1 2 so this is the first element 0 element 1 element 2 so this we are printing it in our console so let's just print it you can see here here in that the console you can see php and python is printed first element then the third element i can print the element based on a button click so let's me remove these two let's not put it and we'll add a button so b1 button tk dot button my underscore w is my parent window i declare it at the top text text is so this is the text only written over the button now width slightly i am giving width equal to 10 now next is background so button background i am giving yellow you can give any color whatever you want command what should happen when the button is clicked now that is what the click event i'll say lambda lambda and my update what is my update this function i am it is a function it will call once your button is clicked i have not yet written that i will write that let me before i forget let me place it on the grid so here it is it, it will be right of the list box so i am saying row equal to one and column equal to two because column one is my list box here it is where it here you can see column is one now slightly i am not flushing it with that so i am giving pad x equal to let's say 10 slightly from the left edge i am maintaining a gap now what happens when i click this this will call a function my update i will write that function now i will say define my update here now this inside this function i will i will first i will read and print it to the console right now i am printing to the console print lb1 dot get which one it will get tk dot active that means the uh, element which is active now or the user has selected when i click the button that should print it here in my console so let's just see okay i think my previous window i have not closed it okay fine so this is you can see here bottom you can see i'm cleaning this okay fine so now here we should open up now let's just run this here it is now i have selected say python and here i am so you can see here python is there now one more let me just go for php and click so so you can see here but at the bottom you can see these are printed let us remove this button and on selection i am just commenting this button lines on selection we should able to print it without any click of a button so for that we have to write a event here so for that i will say lb one we have to bind the event you can see our uh, tutorial on the event all sort of events on the kinter wizard how you can bind it now let me just put it like this i am binding on click event so here uh, sorry a uh, list select event so i am saying list box select now what should happen once it is selected i will go to my update 
now my update now here once i am writing my update here i have to my inside the my update i have to receive the event so i am saying anything my update is received here inside this function now i'll slightly change the code and this time i am going for a printing then i will uh, change it again now let me in a different way i am doing lb1 okay here i have to write the code now okay here i am writing selected index this is a variable because it will store the index position of the whatever the user has in uh, what the user has selected so for that i am writing lb1 dot cursor selection now what happens wherever the you uh, the selected uh, element that index position 0 1 2 3 like that whatever the index that will be stored in this variable now from using this variable i will print it i actually it will get a tuple so i if i want i can just print the selected indices this will get a printed tuple only using this a tuple with the selected index using this i will print the value why i will print a one two three four like that i will print a value so lb1 uh sorry i let me first print to the console lb1 is my list box now in that i will say a dot get now here i am saying selected indices now what will happen this will read this where this variable will be whatever the user has selected that will be that value of it will be printed here now let me write it here in the command value selected element fine or the value it's or the element itself let's just try it watch this here now i will say mysql now my uh, list box select my update now i am ah, i did a mistake here it should be lower case here so now let's see this fine i am selecting it whatever i am selecting you can see here bottom at the console the first it is printing the tuple then the value i'll change it now you can see first the tuple then it is printing the value we'll try to delete the selected element for that we'll use the button again so this uh, list box select binding will remove we'll again activate the button here now instead of writing text as so let's write it delete now here command is uh, my update let it be now here inside the function i will because it's no more a event uh, binding option so i'll remove this now here let me remove all this and write the only a uh, delete command so for that sorry i have to keep it here what i will write is lb1 dot delete now which one to be delete whatever is selected or anchored now let's just save this and run once here it is now i am selected python clicking the delete python gone mysql delete html delete like that i can delete the elements similarly i can add the element also whatever i have selected i can display it in a label also because once it is printed to the console i think you can manage it and display it on a label also so uh, after this we'll move and collect the data from a database and show it as an option to the users as a part of the list box say database can be mysql it can be a sqlite or it can be a excel page also different different sources we'll explore and you can just continue and copy the same code is already available the link is in the description you can copy the code that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and my request is please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions or ideas use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching